Good morning, Amanda. Such a long wait during bowl season until you can <laughs> finally kick off. And nice to know game day is finally here. 2017 Holiday Bowl, Washington State and Michigan State. And we've seen the last couple of years how big of an impact the bowl game can have on just how you feel about a season. WSU certainly wants to have a repeat of what they did two years ago, certainly not what they had a year ago here. Yeah, and of course with Washington State, they're looking to capture 10 wins for the first time since mm -hmm. 2003. And there are 21 seniors taking the field here at what was formerly known as yeah. Qualcomm Stadium. And one of the more prominent seniors taking the field is Jamal Morrow. He took a big role for this team immediately in the program, helping turn it around after his redshirt season. He was starting immediately as a freshman, and then he's the last two seasons actually accrued 1,000 yards of total offense, so he has been spectacular. He's also been the team captain since 2015. He does have great leadership skills, but it's mostly because he's a lucky guy. He can win the coin flip. <laughs> now, last year, I met up with him before the Holiday Bowl, played a coin flipping contest with him, won 4-3. to three. This year, I met up with him in Pullman, and we reflected on his time at Washington State. Jamal. It's sort of coming to an end for you here at Washington yeah. State. Can you sort of reflect for a little bit just what this experience has been in Pullman? Uh, it's, it's been amazing, you know. I just, uh, just, I just, I mean, I, I think back to the time, you know, arriving back on campus and, you know, just being with all the older guys and, you know, to, to teach them, them teaching me the ropes and everything like that. And so looking back at it, not, not, not only, I know when I have one more game left, it's, it's kind of crazy. When you came onto campus to where this school is now, just what are some of the big differences that immediately stick out to you? You see like the leadership in there, you know, you see that, that leadership now and like how, how it carries over to like now the younger guys, like they're starting to get it and understand stuff like that. So that's our, our main goal is really to make sure all the younger guys are understanding and they get it so when we leave they can they have they can just flourish, you know, and take what we gave them and the stuff that they learn and being able to incorporate that too. Did you envision this happening? I, I know that when you committed to Washington State, I'm sure you hoped that it would happen. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, like when I committed here, I'm like, you know what? I want to be able to turn this program around. And after you know my redshirt sophomore year, we go nine and four. We go to the Sun Bowl. I'm like, okay, you know, let's, let's, we're here now. Then. You know, going into last year, one game away from the Pac-12 North champion and be able to play in the game, and you know, like the success we had this year. You know, now we're at, now we're trying to take that next step. It's kind of cool for me, at least, to look back and be like, man, I kind of, you know, I was a part of building, building this program up, and you know, from, you know, kind of rags to riches. Is there a specific game or moment that you look back on that is maybe your your fondest in your career? No question. Uh, you gotta go back to that USC game, you know, Friday night here in Pullman, you know, top five USC team comes to, uh, you know, coming to um, Martin Stadium, man, you know, just the, the atmosphere there was absolutely crazy, you know, and just being being able to be a part of that, you know, the fans stormed the field and like just the pictures and yeah, it's, it's really one of my, probably one of my favorite moments since I've been on campus. What's the mindset heading into Michigan State? Um, it's huge, I mean, to be tied with, you know, in Washington State history, you know, having the opportunity to be, you know, have 10 wins in the season, that's, that's huge for us. And, you know, for the seniors, I mean, I mean, you just want to go out with a win. What do you hope your lasting legacy is here at Washington State? Charismatic to other people and not just worried about football, you know, it's it's bigger than football. So, want to be known, you know, as a person that, you know, left his legacy. He was a, you know, a great football player on the field, but as well as off the field. I'll also argue that another part of your legacy, which you did not mention, <laughs> was your tremendous ability to be captain of the squad. Yeah, yeah. Even though I lost to you, but it's okay. <laughs> I was okay. gonna say, and I want to give you, I want to give you one chance. <laughs> All right. Let's last, go. Last time, last ah. time, we went seven, seven games. We went seven games, and of course, I took that thing like the Cleveland Cavaliers. Yeah. Oh, tails! Okay, so we got heads and we got tails. Working with a dime right now. Yep. All right, I know this isn't regulation. Yeah, we, we gonna do whatever we gotta do. All right, this is one game. What are you going with, calling in the air? Tails, yeah. Oh, tails. Oh. We We're back! We We're back! <laughs> hey, thank you thanks so, so much. much thank Jamal. you for appreciate everything. It. Much we appreciated. Will, we'll see you in the game, and let's hope for a better performance against Michigan no State question. this year. Hey. And yeah, Go Cougs! That guy is such a clown. Yeah. <laughs> I love Jamal Morrow. Uh, worth noting that Washington State is 7-4 when he calls the coin flip 
Washington State is the road team, so he will have one last opportunity to make the call in the air to see what he can do. Also, ever since that Oregon game in 2015, Washington State is 24-10 and 10 with Jamal Morrow as captain in the coin flip. It's funny because they were losing some of the tosses early in the season, and he had to come out and say, hey, I'm not the one calling it. It's the visitors, so don't put this on me. He wants to protect every bit of his legacy. <laughs> I've been so much fun to watch him play and get to know him as a guy. Uh, great work there. Yeah. Uh, coming up a little bit later in uh, this morning in our coverage of the 2017 Holiday Bowl, quiet now, wasn't quiet in downtown San Diego last night. We'll uh, take you to the marching band showcase and some keys for Jamal Morrow and the Cougs offense. So they try and get churning a bit, something they never did a year ago against Minnesota. Amanda, back to you. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Looking forward to it.